Hey guys, uh, Reggie B here from P Clip Records LLC. Uh, welcome to another tutorial episode of Logic Pro Mix Tips and Tricks. Um, today I'm gonna be covering uh, the the beginner basics of what a channel EQ is and how it works. So today, uh, as you can see, I have Logic Pro X up and I have the channel EQ um, plugin that comes with Logic Pro X here opened and here you can see it goes from 20 20 hertz to 20,000 hertz and uh, that's standard for every EQ 20 to 20,000 hertz um, and as you see when I play the when I play a track you can see the frequency here on the graph showing us what frequencies are uh, high or what frequencies are low down here is your low low range of frequencies and up here is your high and you got your middle the middle section um, now here is an analyzer tab you can press that on or off to see um, the frequency on the graph so as I play it now you can see there's no frequency but when I press analyze you see it pops right up so that's a cool feature in Logic Pro X um, e channel EQ. Uh, now what I want to show you is the what are the three layers here. So the first layer here you have is the frequency. So you can move that around and go to any frequency you want across the graph. And the second one is the dB, which is the volume. Uh, how loud do you want it? How you know in decibels? How loud do you want the frequency to be? And lastly is the Q. So once we, for instance, say we went over here and we brought this up. Now the Q is going to shrink so that we can focus in on a frequency or expand so we can focus on multiple frequencies. So you can watch here as I shrink it and expand, shrink and expand. So what happens is if I'm playing a track, Now you can watch as I bring down the volume of the frequency. And I can use the cue to focus in on just that 100 hertz frequency. And that's the beauty about EQ. Um, just being able to, to listen in on a track and hear something that maybe it sounds too, too harsh on the ears and being able to just remove it from the mix by simply honing in on that frequency and either rising it up or pulling it down. And that's the, the basics of EQ. Um, this is just a beginner tutorial to kind of introduce you to EQs if you're unfamiliar with it. Um, that's basically what an EQ does uh, to start. Every channel should have an EQ, um, especially, you know, as you can see on analog gear, if you have used a mixer every channel has an EQ so there's always something that could be either you know enhanced or removed frequency wise from each track on your on your board so that's it guys I just wanted to introduce you to that and um, stay tuned more to come